Careers was my first video, but it had audio and scripting issues, so I'd like a do-over. Let's look at how we can get an ambitionless sim into a career from a new player's perspective. Then we'll go into a few tips for making promotions easier to come by. We will also look at the top paying careers data that is available on my site. If you find this helpful, hit subscribe when the video is over to follow along as I try to cover everything in The Sims 4. You can get a job in one of two ways. Head to your Sims phone and select the career household category or open the careers tab in the interface on the bottom right. Both ways lead to the same thing, a long list of entry level positions that somehow do not require two years of previous experience. Note the hours worked, hourly wage, and scheduled days for each career at the bottom right. Browse the careers and pick something appealing to you. Try to consider the skills that might be involved in that career. There are generally two branches for each career as well. Once you've picked a career, your sim now has the job and the career interface at the bottom will have changed. You can click or press the J hotkey to access this. It will now display vital information. The job ranks up top along with the hours and schedule you just saw. This will change sometimes when you get a promotion. Every career has a daily task. For early level astronauts, it is to play chess for a time. Going to work having completed this daily task will give you a bump to career performance. While the requirements are not steep yet, when we rank up in Astronaut, we will find that we require skill levels in order to be promoted. It's not just a daily task. The most important tip that anyone can give a new player about career performance is to emphasize mood management. Go to bed about 11 to 12 hours before it's work time. This is until you get a better bed. Don't sleep until full energy if you're gonna run late. You should use the evening to fill psychological needs like social and fun, while in the morning you can handle the physical ones like bladder, hygiene, and hunger. These three take a bit to manage. The point here is physical needs decay overnight, while emotional ones do not. You can make your sim content before bed. The extra hour you have can be used to get into the ideal mood. You don't want to do this too early as the moodlet will decay. We can only really be in the ideal mood for the first four hours of the shift. In this case, the sim can ponder moves at the chessboard to get focused. This will get him into the first few hours of the workday and he'll get a great boost to career performance. Something I like to do is make a family or party sized dish at night, then drag it to the refrigerator after my sim takes a serving. Now I can simply click get leftovers in the morning when I'm in a hurry and it's a perfectly acceptable and filling meal. You can lean on this for several days actually, it's a big time saver. My sim's needs are high, it's about time to put him to bed and put all of this together. So, it's a few hours before work and my sim already has a meal ready in the fridge. I queue up eating and bathroom activities which will top him off. I choose a regular shower because none of them give a focused moodlet. I want to be just happy so that I can turn it into a focus for his first day in the astronaut career. For every career, use an interaction before work that gets you in the right mood. For focused, ponder moves on chessboard is an easy one. I'll link to our emotions guide so you can check out all the emotions and activities that provide the moolet you need. The lists are huge because there's such a big variety of game pack and expansion packs and they all add new ways. Okay, so it's only 20 minutes before work. We have high needs, we've completed the daily task, and we've got the sim focused. As long as the sim isn't tied up in a long activity, they will go to work on their own. When it's time for work, our sim will teleport to work. If they've completed the daily task beforehand, they'll get a performance boost. So how do you get promoted? Well, your goal is to move the career performance meter all the way to the right. Take note of where I'm clicking on the sim's portrait. Click the icon in the top right. We can get a boost to performance by using work hard. We'll drain fun faster, but our sim will try to put a better performance in. 
The career performance meter will move faster. It always moves while your sim's at work and moves even faster if your sim's in the ideal mood. This is an additional bonus. They're called work tones and they do a variety of things, but most players just use work hard. The game has been paused. Let's unpause and go to super speed and watch the career performance meter. Because we did everything correctly, and especially because Astronaut has a pretty long shift, we're able to get the promotion in a single day. Note that our sim has lost all of his moodlets, however, and he is actually going to get tense from low fun due to work hard. I actually switched to take it easy to make it stop draining so badly. He's already got the promotion. I think work hard has its place. If you know you won't get a promotion that day, I wouldn't use it. That way later, you, you know, you can focus on skilling and stuff and have your fun intact, especially if you need to work on something that's not fun. Anyway, we get an instant raise, a bonus, and an object that can be found in the household inventory in build mode. Our work schedule has changed. We go in later now and the days are actually different as well, but we also need level two logic. Thankfully, the sim already has that. One of the main reasons that people visit my career guides is to have some foreknowledge because right now it would actually be useful for me to know that next level I'm going to need level two fitness. With that all out of the way, let's look at the types of careers. You see, some careers can work from home if you have either city living or seasons. The four careers included in those two packs get the choice to stay at home or attend work. There isn't a difference when it comes to performance, you just don't get the career performance right away if you stay home. It'll come in a chunk by the next shift. If you completed the daily task, you're good. Also, because daily tasks tend to be very lenient, you often end up with way more time than you need to complete those tasks. This can actually let you make more money because you can work on other skills or money-making activity. When you stay home, you're given an assignment of two or three things that need to be done. The Sims 4 Get to Work careers actually send the Sim to work where they have a good bit more tasks to deal with. This is the most challenging type of career, though scientist is pretty easy, detective then doctor can be the hardest careers in sims ever. You do not have to follow the sim to work though, you can send them in the ideal mood and skip controlling them. All careers gradually generate paid time off. You get a fragment of a day for every single day that you work. You can then spend this however you like and will get the usual pay. Sims may also retire and will receive a pension based upon the level they were in their career when they retired. With those big bonuses from promotions, don't just get equipment you need to level your skills. Consider getting something like a better bed because you'll get more hours out of the day by having to sleep less. You want an energy five or six bed. Scroll over the beds and find the cheapest energy five bed or the cheapest energy six bed that you can afford and worry about looks later. With all that said, let's look at the highest paying careers in The Sims 4. We have the career track on the far right and the branch on the left. The two branches of the same career can vary wildly in pay. This table is from my site and will be linked in the description. It lists careers by weekly pay. Gardener is just behind Smuggler, but Gardener's botanist track lets you make gobs off your plants with minimal effort. You could even change up and play a botanist who designs flowers and rake in even more dough. However, money is not all there is to consider. Sometimes it's nice to not have to go to work and just take in some reliable money. Careers like Rider and its two tracks are good examples. You can make money off your skill and not have to worry about going into work much and not for very long when you do. For this reason, it's worth looking at careers that only go in three or four days out of the week. Have a look at Diamond Agents three days with 15 hour shifts. One last thing, you can over level your career. Each time you fill the performance meter again, you'll get yet another raise. The higher the base pay, the larger these additional raises become. Careers with long shifts and more work days are easier to over level. 
This is pretty much it for The Sims 4's career system. Choosing the right career for your sim is a big part of it, as every career is similar in that they must meet minimum skill level requirements to advance. I hope that you found this guide helpful, and if so, throw us a like and consider subscribing for more. We have a Patreon if you really like what I'm doing and would like to help offset the falling ad rates and ad blocking we have had the past two years. Whatever the case, I thank you for watching.